Well, good evening. I thought I would come down and introduce myself properly. I don't want to be rude. Well, aren't we looking sorry for ourselves? But come. Let's sit and have a chat. Get to know one another better. I said sit down. Have you been enjoying your stay so far? <laughs> oh no. I won't be letting you go. No, no, no. That's not happening, so don't bother asking again. I'm not fond of repeating myself. Well, now, why the long face? You've got quite a lovely suite here. I've been most generous. Your own bathroom and everything. And haven't my boys been good to you? <laughs> I do think it's funny, yes. Though I have quite the dark sense of humour, I've been told. Oh, I think you do know what's going on. Maybe not the full story, but surely parts of it. You seem bright enough. So guess. Go on. I want to hear your theories. Go on, little puppy. Speak. Do you know that trick yet? Your father, yes. I'm afraid your daddy has been very, very stupid. He's not got a mind for business, has he? See, at the end of the day, I'm a businesswoman. And he set up an agreement with me to complete a job in return for certain favours. He did not keep up his end of the bargain, which cost me money, which I do not appreciate. But due to other poor decisions, Daddy Dearest didn't have much left to give as an apology. So do you know what he put up as collateral? Yes, you. Clever girl. To be honest, I have no real use for you. I just wanted what was owed. It's the principle of the thing. So now you're my guest. Oh, very good. You're certainly smarter than your father. Yes, I will be expecting you to repay my kindness. Nothing in this world is free. I could have you sleeping on a concrete floor but I've been good enough to treat you with the utmost care. So, I want to hear your theories again. Hmm? How will you be repaying me? Let's have a brainstorming session. Work for me. Well, obviously. How? How will you work for me? A correct answer, however I want you to. I should get some treats for you, you're doing so well. But yes, I will find you jobs and you will do them and in return, I will be kind to you. If you don't, my kindness will run out. It's been known to do that and it's rather unpleasant. Ask the boys, if you like. Oh, you have a question. Do tell. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. You want to defect. Come and work for me willingly. Hmm. True, if you're doing it anyway, then... Not fighting it would be a hell of a lot easier for you. 
not sure how that speaks to your loyalty if you're so willing to jump ship from your old life so soon. <laughs> it's good business, huh? I suppose it is. Well, if you prove yourself, perhaps I'll make you a part of my organisation. And it's not as if anyone's come running to your rescue. Why should you be loyal to them? I'm the one taking care of you. Oh, yes. I'd say I've been taking care of you. Wouldn't you? You've got good food, a roof over your head, clothes on your back. And your debt is paid when I say so, so don't bother with calculations. They'll always end up being wrong somehow. Oh, kitty cat. When did I ever say it was fair? Careful. I like you, but be careful. If I want to call you a puppy, I will. If I want to call you a kitten, I will. I'll call you whatever I please. Am I understood? Good. Look at me. I said look at me. I told you I'm not fond of repeating myself. Do you have any other questions while I'm in the mood to answer them? What sort of jobs? Hmm. What will I have you do? Shall I be honest? It is the best policy I hear. I'm not entirely sure yet. Like I said, I don't really have a use for you. You just fell into my lap, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Hmm. Huh. You are determined to clear your debts, aren't you? Smart, though. Get in early before they build too much. Interest is a bitch, isn't it? So, I don't see why something unconventional couldn't help you clear your name. What did you have in mind? Hmm? Are you going to answer me? <laughs> Was it not a good idea after all? Oh, well now I'm curious. You simply have to tell me your idea. Oh, come on, you did this trick so well before. Speak. How will you repay your debts? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, that is unconventional, isn't it? Do you know how rare it is for me to be taken by surprise? Hmm? Look up at me. Why did that suggestion come to mind, huh? Do you think I'm pretty? Oh, are you blushing? Oh, kitten. Aren't you an interesting little thing? Maybe I do have a use for you after all. I mean, you're a pretty girl already, but if we were to scrub you up a little, well... You could look rather dazzling, couldn't you? Well, you know, speak. Do you know any other tricks? You don't know. Shall we try one? Neil. Do I have to repeat myself? Hmm. <laughs> It seems you know that one after all. Well, now I'm getting ideas. So many tricks. So many games. 
We shall see, but do me one favour, yes? Don't bother pretending that you're not enjoying kneeling at my feet. I'm very, very good at reading people, kitty cat. It's what's gotten me this far, and you're a little scared, yes? You should be, but... Hmm. It's not all you're feeling, is it? But I'm not one to rush into decisions, and you've given me rather a lot to think about, haven't you? So we'll speak again later. You can get up now. Good night. Well, get in, kitten. You can sit opposite me. And do buckle up, dear. We are not going anywhere. I'm the only one with a particular destination. I'm heading to a meeting downtown and you are accompanying me on the drive. Gus will drive you back home while I attend to my business, or you can wait in the car. I'll be very generous and give you a choice. Oh, you don't have to decide just yet. And this is the nicest car you've ever been in, huh? Daddy really did squander your money, didn't he? Your family used to be very powerful, you know. You could have been quite the heiress. It's a shame, really. You have a lot of potential, don't you? Hmm. Oh, kitty cat, you think I'm going to tell you what my meeting is about? <laughs> oh, adorable. I can't fault you for trying, though. Well, maybe I took you along for the drive because I wanted the company. Do you believe that? Hmm. Either way, while you're here, I wanted to show you something. Look out the window. What do you see? It's not a trick question. Oh, I have got you tiptoeing on eggshells, haven't I? Good. But go on. What's out that window? The city, yes. Correct. You understand that I own it. Yes? You won't find my name on any plaques or street signs. And the men in suits who sit at desks all day would have you believe it's them who owns it, but no. They know nothing about true power. Oh, kitten, no, I'm not telling you this to frighten you. I'm... Mm. I like collecting things. Nice things. I enjoy the finer aspects of life. Otherwise, what's the point? So I'm not threatening you. I'm simply showing off. If you buy a watch worth six figures, you wear it so people can see it and admire it. But unfortunately, due to the nature of my line of work, there aren't many opportunities for me to show off my city to an outsider. It's not often I get to tell new people that it's mine. Usually anyone worth telling already knows. Oh, I own lots of other things, but you don't need to know about those. I've thought about your proposition. You please me, whatever I may decide that looks like, and in return, perhaps you have your debts reduced. Maybe some other reward, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you're smart, at least. No, kitten. I really can't see you having any way to actually pay off your debt to me. 
Like I told you, your daddy was very, very stupid. Either way, I haven't had a plaything in a while. And just because I own you as much as I own this city, doesn't mean your existence has to be a miserable one. What loyalty do you owe to the people who used you as collateral? Exactly. None at all. And I can be very generous when I want to be. Don't you want to be showered in affection? For a price? Oh, darling, everything has a price. You know that. You're a smart cookie, aren't you? So it's a yes? Well, you've got the guts to stand by your convictions. <laughs> You'd be surprised how rare that is. I like rare things, though. Hmm. We've still got a little way to go yet, but you certainly have made the journey far more entertaining than usual. But what a shame. You're wearing trousers. <laughs> oh, good. See, you're a natural. You've got the hang of this already. What do I want you to wear instead? Hmm. I'll have to think. Oh no, this could be fun. I need some fun, I think. You'd be a wonderful addition to my collection of pretty things. Do pull your hair off your face, though. Good. Hmm. If you'd been wearing a dress, I would have had you hitch up your skirt and spread your legs. It's not as much fun in this outfit, though. If you are keen on pleasing me, though, you could unbutton your shirt for me. Hmm. And a little bit of showmanship from you. Oh, good. Nothing's worse than someone being economical when they undress in front of you. I will definitely have to upgrade your lingerie, though, won't I? Oh, believe it or not, I do like giving gifts. It's just that so many people don't deserve them, but you... Well, spoiling you is half a gift to myself, isn't it? But have you stopped there? Oh, kitten, you were doing so well. Off with the bra. Tick tock. Hmm. Isn't that better? Is the AC a little too cold or are you just excited to see me? Well, now I am getting ideas. If we were to go back to the topic of presents, well, there's all sorts of toys I could let you play with. <laughs> oh, but you are good at taking orders. So good at commands. But I am quite content just watching from here, so what shall I have you do? Hmm? Touch yourself. Now you know my thoughts on me having to repeat myself too often. No, we don't like it, do we? Would you like some step-by-step -step instructions? Would that help make things easier? Spread your legs. Even in trousers, it's a lovely sight. Undo the top button. Yes, good. And put your hand inside your underwear. No, it doesn't matter that I won't be able to see. And however you like to touch yourself, do that. And I wouldn't bother pretending that you're too innocent to know what to do. We both know that's a lie. Are you going to look me dead in the eye while you do it? Not bashfully at the floor. 
Well, that's very bold of you. I do like to observe, to watch, and it seems you like being watched. And what a stroke of luck to have found something in common so soon. I'll have to think about what else you can perform for me. But that will have to come later. I have a meeting to attend. So what have you decided? Will Gus take you home or will you wait in the car for me? Hmm, you'll wait. Yes, you are interesting, aren't you? Wait then. Your owner will be back soon. And I figure it's obvious, but I expect you to still be topless when I return. And on the drive home, you can finish what you started. Are you nervous, kitten? Hmm? I told you, we're just going to a party. Just a little shindig. So what's there to be nervous about, huh? Free food, free booze, and you get to strut around at my side. And besides, you look so pretty. I knew you'd scrub up nice with a bit of attention. And well, of course, the dress is revealing. That's why I picked it out for you. Oh no, you weren't invited. I was invited, but if I want to bring a plus one, I will. Think of it as taking along an accessory. You remember how I said if someone has a fancy watch, they want to wear it out. Show it off. They want to show the world their beautiful possessions. That's why you're coming along. I want to show you off. Not to mention I like very few of these people, so I need someone to talk to amongst their drivel. And I need someone pretty to rest my eyes on. Someone I can talk to without making my ears bleed. Well, yes, kitty cat, I do like you. Do you think I give jewellery and pretty dresses to people I don't like? <laughs> so suspicious still, even after all the things we've done in private together. <laughs> That's a good trait though, it's how you survive. <sighs> Nearly there, I hate being driven in the dark, it feels like getting kidnapped. Do I know what what is like? Getting kidnapped. <laughs> Sweetie. I've worked my way up to being the most powerful person in this organisation. And I'm certainly not a Nepo baby, so that's saying a lot. I've got all sorts of skeletons tucked away in my closet. Do you want me to bring them all out for you? Show you one by one? No? Then mind your own business. Oh, that's not what you meant by it. Well, if you don't mean something, it's usually best not to say anything at all. Isn't that right? Oh, don't look so down, sweets. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you for long. And for God's sake, don't leave my sight. Hmm. I can't decide if this party looks spectacular or vulgar. It can be both, I suppose. Though I think the ice sculpture is tipping it into the negative. Don't you? I don't know why you're so wide-eyed. 
Your family runs in these circles after all. On the lower end, sure, but within the circle nonetheless. You were never invited to things like this, why? You're not a child. Always different, weren't you? But that's why I like you, because you're different. I mean, I knew they never thought much of you, seeing as they put you up for collateral for your daddy's debts, but still, they could have at least taken you along to a party now and then. Perhaps we'll see some of them, and you can rub it in their face. Won't that be glorious? <laughs> this necklace I gave you before we drove out here. Well, I'm glad you love it. I picked it out just for you, after all. Think of it like a collar for my little kitten. Hmm? You're mine now. And I'm not one to hide away members of my family. I want to show them off. I could have easily left you at home. It would have been one less thing for me to worry about. But here you are. Hmm? So stop thinking as if you're still with them. Think like you're with me. That's better. Chin up. Do I really think what? That you're my family. <laughs> well, why shouldn't I think that? Because I'm mean to you sometimes. Isn't that what family does? You think this is just sex, really? Because I can get that anywhere. I own strip clubs, after all, darling. Maybe I want something else, huh? Is that so hard to imagine? And besides, don't you want something else? You want someone to take care of you. I mean, don't you? No! <laughs> oh, I am sure you can take care of yourself. You're a smart cookie, but since you've been with me, you've flourished. There's colour in your face. And a little birdie has told me that plates go back to the kitchen empty, not with half a meal still on them. Hmm? No, I think you need taking care of, Kenton. It's a good thing I enjoy it then, huh? Speaking of food, let's find some champagne and nibbles, shall we? Plus, I want to snoop around and see who else is here. Who's on the guest list? Oh, all sorts of nefarious folks. Criminals and business magnates and... <laughs> I mean, aren't they the same thing, really? A few higher-ups from my own organisation. You might meet them tonight, later on at some point, certainly. Other syndicate leaders, rivals, friends, a real melting pot tonight. What? Will there be a fight? Why? Oh. <laughs> I forget what I have and haven't told you. Well, time to add to your education, so listen up. This building is simply known as the club. It's neutral territory. Switzerland. You step foot in the club, and you behave yourself, without question. Any true enemies can avoid each other, it's not speed dating, you don't have to talk to anyone, you don't want to. But you can't lift a finger against anyone. Not inside these walls. It's a good opportunity to chat to our neighbours, if you will, learn things. Swap messages if you want. Sometimes we'd like to see each other's heads on sticks, but other times we have a common enemy. And it's a place we can hold a civil business meeting. And sometimes, 
like tonight, there are parties where we can preen and show off and blow off some steam. But that's another reason I wanted you here by my side tonight. If you're out in town somewhere or anyone gets a stupid idea in their heads, I want them to know that you're mine. And if you're hurt, the consequences would be <laughs> catastrophic. Let's put it that way. Like I said, kitten, I do like you. Well, that's a very determined expression on your face. Look at you rising to the challenge. <laughs> what part do I want you to play? Hmm. Well, sweet, what part do you want to play? You could be the blushing damsel that follows my every woman order falling over herself in gratitude to her rescuer. You could be a femme fatale with secrets. Or you could be a ditzy girl who's just here to look pretty and get drunk on free champagne. A mix. Why a mix? To keep them guessing. <laughs> Good answer. We'll make an excellent criminal of you yet. You keep impressing me with how smart you are. But have a quick look around the room, kitten. It seems you're impressing more than just me in here. See how people are looking at you? No, not me. They wouldn't dare look at me like that. It's you they're ogling. That's how beautiful you are. How ravishing. Drink in their energy. Take it from them. Feel yourself meet their expectations. That's how you become fearless. Are you ready to be introduced to some of them? Excellent. Then follow me. Yes? <laughs> oh look, there's a kitten scratching at my door. Have you been in here before? No, I didn't think so. You've certainly come out of your shell, but you do tend to avoid my personal spaces. Mm, that is correct, I suppose. I don't like people touching my things, do I? Come here then. Take a seat. <laughs> no, not on the chair, silly. Come and sit on the desk in front of me. Hmm. <laughs> Better. Look at you, knees together as if you're so prim and proper. It's very sweet. Anyone would believe it. <laughs> but, knowing how you skirt around my office, what has happened that you're brave enough to finally venture inside? Oh, well now I am intrigued. You think I'll be cross? Have you done something naughty, kitten? Because if so, it is much better to come clean than to try and hide anything from me. That would be a bad idea. No? What then? Hmm. <laughs> what did you overhear? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Sweet thing. Overhearing a snatched sentence from an employee of mine isn't exactly grounds for having him hung, drawn and quartered, but well, it's definitely not going to be winning him any prizes, is it? 
I wouldn't say I'm concerned, no, but I'm definitely interested. Good girl. I'll do some more investigations in my own time, but you can stay well away from all of that. Because this is useful. This dynamic. You are useful. Just as you are. Because if someone like that is slipping up in front of you, then what else might those sharp little ears of yours pick up? Have some fun. Play dumb, look pretty, and take pride in the fact that you can gather these little crumbs for your mistress. Yes? Good girl. What are you doing? I can see that you're getting up to leave. I have eyes. Why are you leaving? <laughs> Stay seated. My work can wait. I think I deserve a little break, don't you? I've been in here all day. Very dull. Unless you have somewhere more important to be. No, I didn't think so. You've been taking more pride in your appearance lately. I do tend to notice these things. Wearing the clothes I've arranged for you has been a good start. I have excellent taste, after all. This, especially, suits you very much. Oh, don't. Don't cover yourself up now as if you're bashful. Don't be bashful, not in front of me. I'm allowed to look. Yes, it is low cut. That's why I bought it. You have a magnificent pair of tits, kitty cat. Show them off. Go on. Lean back and let me see. You're not one for jewellery though, are you? You're not wearing a necklace even. There's a bit of sass. Hmm. <laughs> It seems I do want you collared, huh? so maybe I should invest in something. This skirt, though. It's so modest. What are you, a Puritan? What's below the knee? Maybe hitch it up a little. Oh, a little more. You're teasing now. Maybe. Maybe I do like it. <sighs> watching. Just watching. What's the point in having pretty things if you don't sit back and admire them every now and then? Oh, do hitch up your skirt for me, kitten. Good. And do I really need to tell you to spread your legs? Oh, be careful. Well, if you say you like me telling you what to do, then I will absolutely take advantage of that. Well, go on then. Spread your knees. Hmm. And take those off. Or they can hang off your ankles for all I care. Maybe I just want to watch. Does that thought please you, kitten? Having me watch? Oh, see, when you do use your initiative, your instincts are usually correct. No, 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 keep taking it off. All of it. I want to see you. Yes, you do need something around your neck, don't you? Something pretty. Something permanent. Would that make you happy? Oh, good manners. <laughs> Certainly the most well-behaved pet I've ever owned. 
Mm. What do I want you to do? Mm. Bend over the desk. No, 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 no. Head facing the door. That's it. And I'm sure you know by now. Yes. Good girl. Spread those legs just a little wider. I told you I want to watch. I want to admire. So touch yourself. Well, perhaps a little awkward reaching back like that, but I'm sure you can manage. It's not really about practicality, is it? It's about aesthetics. <laughs> you are a funny thing. Well, you get so bashful about a low-cut top, but then you happily bend over my desk and perform. Oh, you are performing. Look at you. Such nimble little fingers. You're doing those little manoeuvres for my pleasure, not yours. <laughs> Stand up. Come here. Kneel down. <laughs> You're so well behaved. Do you want me to reward you? Well, let's take this to the bedroom then. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. You don't need your clothes to walk to my bedroom. You don't need your clothes to use your feet, do you? No. So go on then, lead the way. <sighs> yes, hello. Pleasure to see you here. Excuse me? Did you just say you're late? Knock it off with the attitude, kitten. I'm not in the mood for it. <sighs> Do you want something? Why are you in my way? No, I was bleeding. Past tense, I have since been stitched up. Unfortunately, my shirt is not so easily fixed, which is a shame, I rather liked it. So, get out of my way. Oh, and now you're following me? God, you really are like a little puppy. Ugh. Well, if you're going to insist on being a pest, I'm going to sit here and you can get me a clean shirt. Go on. What happened indeed? Are the context clues not enough for you to figure it out? I would have thought by now that you'd be much more aware of how the world actually works, but here we are, still so innocent, naive. You need to work on that, or the second that you're away from my protection, you'll get eaten alive, and it will be such a messy business. I don't need help to put on a shirt. I'm not a child. <sighs> I got stabbed 
kitten? What does it look like? No, I don't need a hospital. I don't need stupid people asking me stupid questions while they're poking and prodding me and doing an inadequate job of stitching me up. I have my own doctor to call on. It was shallow, kitten. Basically a scratch, a few days, and some gin, and I'll be just fine. Oh, you are in the mood for asking stupid questions, aren't you? There are too many reasons to possibly list as to why someone would want me gone, dear sweet thing. You know what I do. You know what sort of world I occupy. Or have you conveniently forgotten? Oh, it seems you have. Has that made things easier? Forgetting who I really am. Perhaps I need to take you out more. Parade you around on a leash so you don't run into traffic. And show you what really goes on. You've been to a party or two, but it seems your education is lacking. Why are you so concerned about me? You look like you're going to cry. No, pull yourself together. I've had worse. I've had far worse. My boys did their job. The apprehended, the idiot, with the knife, some lowly little bottom feeder who'd been stupid enough to take the job in the first place. They got me to the doctor, and they got me home. So to answer your earlier question, kitten, yes, I'm afraid I'm late in getting home. You were just worried. (laughs) Why? If I get taken out, which is a possibility at any time I set foot outside my front door, you are free. Like I said, you'll be nothing but food for the sharks, but you'd be free before you got eaten. I don't kid myself that you like me for my personality. Not many people do. I feed you. I clothe you. I make you come. I'm not exactly the loving sort. I don't know if you've noticed. Don't. Don't touch me. Go and make me a drink. I don't care what it is, so long as it's mostly alcohol. (laughs) Look at you making one for yourself. You have gotten comfortable here, haven't you? Maybe it's a good thing that you can see this, hmm? That you get a reminder of what's actually going on. Go on, look at the stitches. Take it in. This is what reality looks like. That's a really weird question, kitten, you know that, right? Are you already drunk or... Why do you need to know my favourite song, hmm? What's that got to do with anything? I don't know. Are you drunk? 
have you maybe had something a little stronger? I don't have a favourite flower who has a favourite flower. Of course you do. If you're opening your mouth to ask me another stupid question, I'd rather you just close it. Thank you. Getting to know me. This is me, kitten. Stabbed and bloody and mean. This is who I am. I don't see how you knowing what's my favourite song is going to change any of this. Oh, it will add to it. Maybe I don't want you adding to it. Maybe this is all you need to know. I'm tired. I suppose losing blood will do that to you. It's been a hell of a day. Oh, since you're here, being a nuisance helped me out. Uh, go to your room, kitten. I don't need you under my feet right now. Go. I'm going to sleep. You should too. I need to be alone tonight. So go on. Leave. Kitten, you're up late. Are you keeping an eye on me? Oh, don't worry, I haven't been stabbed, shot, or strangled today. Not even a paper cut. Not a single hair out of place. Not a button missing from my coat. Not a single misstep. Does that make you feel better? Hmm. <laughs> Cute. I best tell everyone to beware. If any harm comes to me, my little kitten will scratch their eyes out. Is that right? <laughs> it is. Oh, fabulous. I'll keep that in mind then. Oh, you're being rather serious, aren't you? Maybe I should send you after someone. See what you're capable of. I'd like to sit back and watch that. <laughs> On a somewhat related note, remember you told me part of a snatched conversation you heard? A little whisper that one of my employees was up to no good. Yes, well, turns out he was the one who helped organise that pesky little assassination attempt on me. Would you stop fretting? when I'm trying to praise you. You did good, baby girl, all is well. The stitches are healing up nicely and he has been let go from his position in the organization. So if this sudden show of fervid loyalty is all about being bored, I'll happily let you loose as my little spy your track record is good so far. We can see what other information you can dig up for me. You look like you're stealing yourself for a confession. Why? Have you done something naughty? Oh, what a shame. I do like it when you're naughty. Not a confession, or don't tell me you've been having ideas. Well, go on then, be brave. Tell me what's on your mind. Oh, you've been thinking. Thinking can be a dangerous business around these parts. 
Go on then, what have you been thinking about? Hmm. No, I wasn't expecting that. You managed to surprise me, you know. It's a nice surprise, though. You want in. Are you wanting to be more than just a pet kitten? You really do want some skin in the game, don't you? Why? It's important to you, huh? I mean, I'm surprised because... Well, you could just continue on like this, couldn't you? Being my little toy for when I need to blow off some steam. Living a, might I say, very comfortable existence here. And you seriously want to be an official member of my organisation? Well, there's no coming back from that, you know. No running back home and claiming that you were just a captive all this time. Because if you're going to say it in public that you belong to me. Not just a side piece, not just some arm candy that I bring along to a party. If you say that you belong to me, I expect you to say it with your full chest. I expect you to keep saying it till your dying breath and if you renege on that statement your dying breath will be a whole lot sooner than nature intended am I perfectly understood excellent yes you are wearing the necklace I bought you I do like a little symbolism here and there <laughs> I mean, I've grown rather fond of you. I didn't intend to, you were just something to play with, but like I said, you keep surprising me. And you are so pretty. I've never had a permanent companion before, they always come and go. They're always half-hearted, and who can blame them? My life is glamorous, and at the same time, it's rotten to the core. It's an uncomfortable mix for people. <laughs> That's sad, kitten. You know that, right? It's sad that you're treated better here than you were with your family. But you are right, I do value loyalty above all else. And you've been nothing but loyal. I'll make things clear. Just one last time. Are you listening? If this is all some scheme to stab me in the back, then the next time I choke you it won't be for fun. Hmm. You do look pretty in your necklace. You can wear it to a little get-together that's being held tomorrow night. I was going to go on my own, but let's put you to the test, huh? I can dress you up and have you on my arm. Show you off. And that's right, you can keep your ears open for me. Well, I wasn't going to take you along because I know for a fact that your father is invited. All of his little cronies as well. And I don't know what you've heard, but apparently business is doing very well for Daddy Dearest. He's learned from his mistakes and he's managed to crawl his way out of debt. And yet, we haven't heard from him, have we? about maybe getting you back. So do you still want to come along? <laughs> oh, that smile. No, not a smile. That was a smirk. Oh, it was positively evil, kitten. So you wouldn't object, then, if I dressed you up in something particularly revealing? Low-cut and backless, 
a slit in the skirt right up to your hip. Hair slicked back and no jewellery needed except my necklace around your neck. God, you'd look so pretty. <laughs> oh, you won't be getting any beauty sleep tonight, kitten. No, 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 no. I have other plans for you and it's going to take till dawn to get through them all. Well, first on the agenda is making sure that when you're wearing that flimsy excuse of a dress tomorrow night, that everyone can see the bite marks up your thighs. So get undressed, because I have a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs>